in Genesis 13, verse 14 to 15, he told Abraham, as far as you can, as far as you can, at that age, God was still telling Abraham to see far. Hey, you are just 36, you are not seeing far again. You are just 42, you can't see far again. I will say, I see far. And he told him, as far as you can, see. as far as you can see. This message, this last part for the, for the third service is meant to sharpen your sight so that you can see well. You know, when you are still hopeful, you are still seeing well. Faith is sometimes of things hope for. If there is hope, you'll be seeing clearer. Things will be scattered around you, you'll be seeing better days. More flourishing days. You see, you don't know what God... He said, eyes have not seen nor hear heard. Neither has he entered into the heart of men. The things God has prepared for those who love him. God loves you so much, he has many things in store for you. This is not the end of your life. There is still more show. More territories to take. More territories to take. More. More dreams. More land. More. You still have more. Ever say more. More. There is more about you. There's more about you. See the more. Don't, don't let what is happening today block your view. See clearer. See far. Hope for. That's what you are looking forward to. So Abraham had the God to see far. It takes God to see far. Many of us, we have God, but we don't have God. And you need both to actually see far. Ever say God. That is, how do, you, how do you define God? Courage. You have the mind, the boldness. Ulaya. Look, I've seen a lot of church people that have God, but they don't have God. Those politicians, they have, some of them have God too. In second service, I told you, a politician four years ago did not even win a single local government. Now they interviewed him a few days ago about 2023 election. He said, he said, I'm the only candidate. And I was looking at his face to see whether I would see some <laughs> level of doubt. This guy was so bold about it. He said, tell me, where, which other candidate? He was talking as if he forgot the last result. <laughs> Amen. And the person interviewed was trying to let him know that Luoga, but the other time, he said, no, 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 no. Was there election then? There was no election then. <laughs> I said, this is a serious matter. <laughs> this guy is in his own world. You need to create your own world. And live in your own world. Stop living in the world they create for you. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, the Bible says the world were framed by the world. You need to use your world to frame your own world and live there. A world of abundance. That they'll be telling you that, can't you see? And you tell them that, what are you seeing? The Bible says we look not at the things that are seen, but at the things that are not seen. For the things that are seen are temporal. The things that are not seen are permanent. They say, but we check your account. You, this is your balance. That is my balance in First Bank. Do you know my balance in the riches of his glory? You think it's only First Bank I have money? He said, God will supply all my needs. According to his riches in glory in Christ, do you know what my, the balance is there? Oh, you don't know we have account there. <laughs> we have account there. Amen. That's why you say you will live in a house you didn't pay for. Who paid for it? Somebody has to pay for it. Are you following what I'm saying? The money has to come out from somewhere. It came from the, his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Are you following me? That's why you took a step the other time. People thought you can't afford it. They thought you were going to be embarrassed. But step by step, you finish the house. Hello? Can I have a witness here? You started, they say, ah, this is you. Can you start this kind of thing? You don't have the money. Look at your income. But today you are finished. Even though they say you can't finish it. So what, how you see things matter. How do you see yourself? The ten said, we are grasshoppers. We can't do it. But thank God for Abraham. Abraham had God, even at his age. He saw very far. I see far. My life is going far. I'm not stopping here. My future is colorful and bright. And I will get there. No devil can stop me. I'm coming to a I'm entering into my realm. 
I'm entering into my time when all things will be beautiful. He said he makes all things beautiful in his time. That is the season I'm entering into. You need to come to that consciousness in your mind and start living in the reality of it. My pastor, one of my pastors when I was in school in Joss, Reverend Esso Academy, he, 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 he even dramatizes it. He will sit on, his, on, his, on the table, center table in his house. You say, children, enter, enter, enter. We want to be going to church. Enter, enter. He'll be doing, you know the normal drama we do when we're children. A man of about 50 something, that's what he's doing in his sitting room. Enter, enter the Benz. This one is a Benzo. This one is not the old Volvo. It's a Benzo. His children will be playing with him. He said, when I'm doing it, I'm seeing it. I'm not just doing it. I know what I'm saying. Today, he's a chairman of PFN Plateau State. <laughs> and at that time, his church was less than 50. If you can't see yourself there, you can't get there. If you can't see yourself there, we can't help you. There's nothing anybody can do to help you. You have to see yourself there. I see myself there. I see myself, there. I see myself in the land of abundance. I see myself in the place of favor. I am blessed and highly favored. That's who I am. Nothing short of that. You see, Abraham at his age was able to see far because he has got. He has got. Receive God. <laughs> Receive a daring spirit. Abraham jumped up one day and said, I'm leaving this place. He said, ah, you are leaving your comfort zone for what? He said, for the land God will show me. He said, are you sure? He said, I'm sure. It's a journey of faith. Anyone who can exercise faith can't go far. If you're a child of God, you're always afraid. You can't take steps. You're always afraid. You can't go far. This thing is about faith. Too. It's a journey of faith. I've told you, the picture they draw, they, they draw, they, they, they draw behind Molue, and they put money in the mouth of lion. It takes faith to take that money. If you are fearful, you can't take that money. That if you want your finance to change, it won't change, it will change based on your God. You need God. Oh, need the Aya. Aya Bamba. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Huh? Aya what? That even though you can't pay your rent in Agege, you drive your children one day to Banana Island or VGC or wherever, and you say, children, let's, let's go and sightsee. We'll soon pack to this environment. Huh? T.D. Jake said when he was struggling, he would still carry his children on Sunday evening. Put them in his old car. Very, then he was very big. Sweating inside his suit. And take them to a very rich neighborhood. And say, children, this is where we belong. That is a God. It takes God. You're not even thinking your children will laugh at you. He said, let them laugh at me. Today, he is one of the richest men of God in the world. Do you have God? Many of you don't have God for the things you're asking God for. Many of us, our prayer is just lip service. If God should do those things you're asking for, you do not even have the God to take it. Because you are already feeling unqualified. So it won't last because you are feeling unqualified. You need that God to see yourself walk on gold. He said you will lay down gold as dust. My wife one day told, said, he said, when they are talking about figure at times, we don't even think about those figures. Once in a while, write some figure down. Don't just imagine. Just write it down. Huh? Are you hearing? What I'm write it down and feel feel it. Because when they mention some figure, sometimes it can just be in the realm of your. Just write it down and say, David Adioye, pay David Adioye. Write the figure. He said, if I write the figure, what will it do? It will first of all affect your mind. Do you know there are some figures you don't even know how to pronounce? You think you can pronounce it because you, you, you pass my, you have A1 mathematics. Until they write it down, you know you cannot pronounce it. So write it down. If, it, if one day it will come in your name, write it down in your name. Try and pronounce it in your name. That's where it starts. So. The picture must be clear in your spirit. The picture must be clear in your heart. If you can't see it, you can't have it. See yourself handling it. Did you hear Dangote said one day, they keep telling him he's a rich man, he's a rich man. He said he drove to the bank and withdrew $10 million or thereabout and took it to his bedroom. He said he wanted to be sure he really has the money. 
He said, they've been saying, I am, I am rich, I am rich. He said, one day, I drove to the bank. I withdrew a lot of money. I took it to my bedroom. I put it on the floor. I said, okay. He said, because everything was figure, 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 but I wanted to see it with my eyes. Sometimes, you need to see yourself there and touch it and hold it and grab it until it will come to pass. If you don't come to that realm, you are not ready. Many, many of us are only believing God and trusting God. But we're not, the trusting we're talking about is not deep down. It has to get deep down. You have to write your name, Mrs. Because very soon, your identity will change. They will stop calling you Miss. You'll be called Mrs. Deborah. So, so, and so. Although you don't know yet, but you know Mrs. is coming. So write it down, see it for at least, right? Nobody is looking at you, just write it down, Mrs. Put your first name. Because it will come to reality. <laughs> Stand up on your feet, whatever. You Lift up your two hands. Lift up your two hands. <laughs> hey, close your eyes. Close your eyes. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. We're in God's presence. The anointing of the Spirit of God is here. Before we take communion on top of it, I want you to see it. See it. See yourself there. See yourself there. See yourself there. That's what they call the power of imagination. I'd like you to travel this morning into your future. When God's presence, all eyes are closed, all it's about whatever you are, travel into the future you hope for. Travel into the future you believe God for. Travel into those days, that day of fulfillment, that day that is your own day. I want you to see it. Close your eyes. Don't let anybody distract you. Before we close this service, you have to see it. See yourself there. Have the God to see it. It takes God to see yourself there. Have the God to see yourself in that brand new house. Everything is electric. See yourself living that life God promised you. See yourself there. Begin to thank God for that day that has come. Lift up your voice and thank God. He said, Father, thank you because I know you have had me. Pray into the future with thanksgiving. He said, let your request be made known with thanksgiving. Mention those things you are seeing yourself. Say, I thank you for the marriage. I thank you for the wedding. I thank you for my status. I thank you for my finance. I thank you for my life. I thank you for my children. I thank you for those good children that are making me happy. I thank you for their future. I thank you for the I thank you for my health. I thank you for the strength you are giving me in old age. That even in my old age, my strengths are renewed like that of an ego. See yourself beyond the medical report. Don't see death, see life. Don't see what the doctor said, see what God said. Don't see how you feel. See how God's word says. Don't see what is happening. See what is written. See yourself there. See yourself there. See yourself there. We have a few more minutes before we hit the flesh of Jesus and drink his blood on top of this. See yourself there. The power of dreams. The power of what you see. Kim Woo Chong says, I'm, a, I'm from a poor family, but I see the whole world like I can wrap it in my hands. That's the power of what you see. Can you see it? Do you believe it? If you believe it, begin to thank God for it. Give God praise for that business, that ministry, that church. See yourself there. Give God praise for it. It shall come to pass. According to the word of the Lord, it will come to pass. All eyes will see it. All ears will hear it. Nothing will be able to stop it. See yourself there. Oh, see yourself traveling in and out. Importing those goods in. Clearing those containers. See yourself there. See. Have the God to see you bringing in containers. Have the God to see it this morning. See yourself there. And you will get there. 
wave your hands to it if you know you will get there give him glory give him praise appreciate him from the depth of your heart say thank you because it's coming to pass not that it will come it's already coming to pass wave your hands as you believe what you see is the reality if you know what you see is the fulfillment if you know what you see is the truth of God's word open your mouth and give praise to him give glory and honor 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 to him in Jesus precious name we pray this thing works for everything one young man says he, he was a sinner he thought he would never be able to be a good Christian he was a womanizer he said his problem is that even the day he fast and pray about it that's the day he would commit more sin until they sent him to a house fellowship and one day the house fellowship said he should lead prayer and that he know that he will not be around he should be the one to preach he wanted to run away he said no you are the one that will preach I won't be around so he preached for the first time in his life and he started calling him pastor he said even though he was still doing that, those bad things the fact that they were calling him pastor graduated. one year passed no womanizing you know what changed his mentality changed he started seeing himself as a pastor he knows pastor don't do things like this are you hearing what I'm saying until the thing changes that nothing will change you you are a billionaire. A more time billionaire. That's who you are. You are blessed. You are not cursed. Those who said they saw vision and you are cursed, they saw nonsense. They didn't see what the word of God says. I'm blessed and highly favored close your eyes again and place your hand on your mind, on your heart and say I see myself there that's who I am I'm a new person in Christ Jesus all things are vanished, passed away all things have become new Death is, has passed away financial hardship passed away sin passed away all things have passed away all things have become new I, will, I am there already I'm there. I'm there. Thank you, Jesus. Give him glory and praise. I'm healed already. I'm healed already. I'm healed already. Don't forget about what the doctor said yesterday. You are healed already. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. As you come to the communion table to partake from his flesh and his blood, everything you have seen on this, mount on this mountain this morning, they are sealed by the power in the blood. They are concluded by the power of the blood. They are finished by the power in the blood. That picture, that fulfillment you have seen, you have chosen to see through the, what is written concerning you. You have chosen not to see through what is happening, but what is written. I declare what is written will find fulfillment in your life. Your amen is not loud. Shout a believing amen. I said that thing that is written concerning you become your reality that sickness will vanish because it belongs to the old order that disease will vanish because it belongs to the old order that addiction will vanish because it belongs to the old order that sin will vanish that anti-success character will vanish because it belongs to the old order all things have become fresh and new in the name of Jesus as you come to the communion table to eat his flesh and drink his blood it is sealed forever. It is completely completed. It is finished. It is done. All eyes will see it. All ears will hear it. I say all eyes will see it. I say all ears will hear it. It is done. Wave your hands one more time and give God praise. Settled. 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 It is settled. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory and praise. This communion table on this communion table you will completely complete it you will seal it permanently and all eyes will see it your blood in the bible talks about your blood and talks about the power of your blood lord as the power we encounter the power in your blood it is a finished thing it's a done deal so shall it be in jesus precious name amen